Hey everyone, welcome back to a special episode of the Coffee and Cannoli podcast. The four of us are back together again. Excuse my voice because it's not the greatest today, but uh, the four of us can only mean one thing. Buddy's making faces like he's constipated, but we're going to be talking about wrestling. This is the first video I'm recording back since I went to Grand Slam in New York. Uh, look for those photos this week or this past weekend. They were up on my Discord server. They're under the AEW Grand Slam uh sub subcategory look for all the photos and all the videos that i have from that in that discord server link to that will be in the description below links to all these guys will be in the description below so with that out of the way before we get into anything this a few weeks ago pw insider released the top 10 only from their top 500 of 2022 20, uh, from June 30th of 20 or sorry July 1st of 2021 to June 30th of 2022 is what these stats are based on they've only released the top 10 the 500 is not out yet when the full 500 comes out we will talk about that and the when the women's 100 comes out we will be talking about that as well but for now we're only going to be talking about the top 10 I'm going to go through the top 10 for you guys and then we're going to talk about a couple names that maybe got snubbed from the list maybe a couple names that uh, are don't deserve to be on the list. And then uh, we have a little surprise for you at the end. So make sure you stick around for that. So uh, once again, welcome. Putty is off to my right over here. Campo's right below Putty and Caps is right below me. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hello. So this year's PWI top 10 is out. Um, I'll read out the list for you guys now. So number 10 was Jonathan Gresham. Number eight was Big E. Number, or sorry, number nine was Big E. Number eight was El Hijo de Vikingo. Number seven was Brian Danielson. Six was Cody Rhodes. Five was Bobby Lashley. Four, Adam Page. Three, CM Punk. Two, uh, Kazuchika Okada. And number one was Roman Reigns. So the way PWI uh, lists these is based on in-ring ability, the feuds, their major feuds, the titles they've won throughout the year, um, the quality of the competition, and how many championships and stuff like that they've won through the year. So I'll open up the floor for the discussion on this top 10 list. What do you guys think of it? Well, okay, forgive me for looking like I'm lagging. Uh, for some reason, my computer has been doing this lately, but I'm not actually lagging. Um, I, I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lot of really weird choices on here. Um, yeah. just in general, like not even, okay. So El Hijo del Vikingo or whatever mm -hmm. his name is barely wrestled at all for the entire year of 2022. He had two title defenses and one of the titles he had to relinquish because so, he was hurt. Yeah. He got injured twice. Mm -hmm. And so that I don't get Brian Danielson was out for like all the important parts of his storyline minus the joining the Blackpool combat club. Yeah. And I mean, like, Big E, too. Like, I know he won, but, like, he's been out the whole time. Yeah, he's been out for a big chunk of it, too. Uh, yeah, there's a few of them. Even even Cody. Cody was off of AEW TV from, like, November to March, shows up at Mania, wrestles for three pay-per-views, and then is gone because of the torn peck. And then you can say the same thing, too, about CM Punk, because he didn't wasn't even in the title pitcher until June, which is past the, the date. So none of his wins are based on yeah, this list, which to me well, seems weird that he would be that high. Well, it's, it's funny you say that because when we were constructing the list, I, I, I messed up and actually had the wrong one. You can ask J.D. we actually talked to him in the beginning. Yeah, he had I, the 2020 list. Yeah, and see... Uh, no, I He's like the, Chris uh, Jericho. Like yeah. The list. <laughs> but the, the, the whole point of the situation was what made me confused about it was there were a lot of, I feel, top-tier wrestlers that had moments like, for example, Wardlow, you know what I mean? I, I feel like maybe he could, I mean, I don't know where he got, he, he peaked, but wasn't that stuff happening during that time? I mean, Wardlow kind of peaked right after May with the MJF feud, the blow off of the MJF okay, feud, I, I right? So, so you can't really put so, Wardlow in there. But like realistically too, if you look at this, how many times did Sammy Guevara win the TNT title in that year span? But he's not on the top 10, he's nor would I put him 10. on my top 10. No, I, wouldn't I, I wouldn't either, but it just seems like, well, criteria wise, yeah. What about Seth Rollins? He's had a lot of uh, uh, Seth uh, Rollins. Uh, okay, well, we'll get yeah. to that, but yeah. So, so base, so this list is constructed based on 
wins or is it so draw, it's based uh, draw win, power or uh, wins? It's based on wins and losses. Championships won throughout that calendar year. The quality of the competition that they faced in that year. How many championships they've won in that year and their in ring ability. And like how their reign went. How many did they defend the title successfully multiple yeah. times or did they lose it right away? Did hmm. they get injured and stripped of the title twice? I don't know. And there's one for each, the, um, like one for women's wrestling, one for tags. For tag. That's yeah. how it works. As well. Okay. They will be. The women's good. used to be a 50, but I think it's 100 now. Yeah, they've expended it to 100. And if uh, Bianca Belair is not in the top five this year, we riot. Well, she won last year, didn't she? I think so, yeah. Yeah, she got to keep winning. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Anyways. But Deanna uh, Perrazzo, number one in my heart. Yeah, oh, for sure. And, I mean, she's had a great run this year, too. Uh, yeah. We're talking, talking about females. Um, Josh. Uh, Gresham? Jonathan Gresham? No, 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 no. Okay, Jonathan Gresham deserves to be on here. He carries yes. And he's company. buried. He's buried at number 10. He I think carried I don't know R- who is, though. He carried ROH when ROH was a nothing company. He yes. defended the belt overseas. He won the Progress Championship as well. And I don't believe Bobby Lashley won any titles in this time span. Yes, he did. He beat Drew McIntyre. Did he? I which think so. A, which was another oh, I don't one, even too. think so. Sorry? Um, well, I was I saying that as far as Drew McIntyre, I feel like that's, that might be another one that I feel like it might be uh, on the list, or at least low on the list. You know what I mean? Towards yeah. 10. I mean, I don't know. But I mean, Just for the most there. part, this list is okay. Like, I'm, I'm not upset with the list. I think it's more the positioning of the list. I don't know. I'm that, still kind of the same of the list. I don't know. That's me, though. Yeah. Sorry. But, uh, I mean, is there anybody you think that should have been on the list list that's well, not Well, I can on give it? you one right away. He said it. Seth Rollins. That was Seth one Rollins. of my three choices. Yeah. I, I, the, amount I would of, put... the amount of feuds, the quality of his work in and out of the ring, and right. just how high uh, profile every match was, him not being on here is ridiculous. Well, when I mean, that's the thing. Big... They put Cody Rhodes at number six, and Rollins got snubbed off this list. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm happy with Cody Rhodes being on this list. But yeah, I think so if you I. have him, you need Seth Rollins. You need on this Seth list. Rollins yeah, because agree, Cody yeah. wouldn't be there without Seth. 100%. That's what started this whole thing. Remember, yeah. remember, Seth Rollins, we, we already had Seth Rollins with our storyline where he was like, I need to be in WrestleMania, like where he was making that whole thing. Yeah, they were the best match of WrestleMania. Cody. That's my They point. were. For them, they were the best him. matches of three pay per views in a row when Bobby Lashley was facing almost a wrestler. I, I mean, I kind of like the second edge versus AJ Styles match, but I'll allow it. Yeah, but almost I mean, but I mean, think about it you had Bobby Lashley facing almost, almost should be on this list. <laughs> okay, Does that, anyone else I, agree have with what I, saying, I picked though. one person from all the three big companies. I'm, I'm, I'm I picking, have another one now. I, I think, I think Drew McIntyre could be on this list. Not yep. to, to pick somebody different from the Fed. I think Drew McIntyre, I think, deserves to be on this list. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Puck. Uh, yeah, but the titles were after. Yeah. I think that's a really important thing. Like, quality-wise, yeah, I, I would agree with you. But yeah. I think it's important to for the titles. Do, do you guys have any on the bottom? Or do I, I'm at the bottom, but... Well, yeah. I have... Like, I mean, the only one I would say is he really didn't have much of a time in there. So I, I put him low on the list. Was Madcap Moss? He was like an honor mentioned. Like I mean, but he I did wrestle high profile matches he for did. multiple oh, yeah. events in a row. But that's what I'm saying. I you know, but I was like, I didn't think a lot of people were going to give it. So He's like, also dating like a personal. babe. So who's he dating? <laughs> uh, Tanil Dashwood. Oh, okay. Formerly Emma. Emma. I Good know, dance uh... moves. Uh, Caps, you got any? No. All right. Well, I have. I am. I'm very happy to tell you my next choice. Sure. Because this one is like absolutely ridiculous for me. Now we're hitting like ridiculous level. Josh Alexander. Yeah. He's been the freaking champion forever. Yeah, he he's got he got he pay-per-view. got snubbed on this one. Yeah. He, like and he's a good wrestler. Yeah. That whole the feud he had with Moose. Yeah, like everything he's done has been good. He has mm-hmm. not done anything bad. And he's been the, uh, the champion strong for a, a yeah. good chunk of the, that span. And the thing is, too, like, I, I would have thought the opposite. When they split up the team between him and Ego, all Ego, Ethan Page, and Ego uh, Page went to AEW, I thought Ethan Page was the one that was going to hit it big and Josh was going to be the one that got buried, but it turned out the other way around. 
Well, the page is on the way. I hope so because he wasn't in that battle royal. I was so upset when I didn't see Page in that battle royal. It looks like it's a slow. They're trying to slow build him. Okay. I don't know why, but that's what it feels like. Um, okay. Putty, you got any more? Wait, no, Jay, I mean, you didn't even say one. Um, I said Pac. I think deserves to be on that list. I mean, if not this year, he definitely needs to be on it next year. Okay, so I, the, another one that I thought about, and I, I when I messed up my list, I put this there. But again, you guys said based on June, and so this didn't happen until after. But at the same time, he did get a squad together, and that'd be Edge when he got because that 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 the whole. Oh, he uh, came back before June, and he, he yeah. had some really good matches. Yeah, like he, he was another one, and then um, that feud with AJ Styles that we were talking about, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. It's um, uh, I mean, okay, I got a big one. This is my this sure. is my number one. I didn't pick anyone from AEW. I can think of one if we have to, but um, th- this is arguably the best wrestler working in the world right now. And he was champion for 900 mm. days. Like the fact that Will Ospreay is not on this list is, is absurd to me. Yeah. His everything he's done has been gold. Yep. And yeah. And he was literally champ in uh, Rev Pro. Mm-hmm. For nine hundred plus days, yeah, yeah, I've that's known, a I, big, that's a big one that uh, that's missing off. Plus, I list. believe he won the U.S. Championship before June. Yes, he did. Yes, he did because uh, right at the right at the cusp of this. So, yeah, with rock hard, you Robinson, rock hard. But uh, yeah, I think I think that's a great pick. Uh, I, I'm going to pick somebody from ROH as well now, but he's kind of in AEW. And that's Jay Lethal. Yeah, that's that's he has carried matches on his back. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, some of his better stuff this year has come after June, like the whole carrying Ric Flair in that match. And yeah, but I, I mean, think Jay Lethal is definitely someone that needs to be considered. That's a fair pick. He's always an option for me to to make it, but it's like to doubt what a lot of these wrestlers can do is. I, like the Josh Alexander one is just the one that really gets me. Yeah. Like Will Osprey, I is I think belongs more than he does, but just like well, what Alexander has, he's carrying an entire company on. Yeah, his back. he is. He is. He totally is. Um, I if if he were champ still, I would have said Nick Aldis too in the NWA. That's that. Uh, that would have been a good one too. So, but I don't think Trevor Murdoch has been champ enough or done enough in nwa to be deserving of a spot but uh if nick aldis had a little bit more i think he should have been in this list as well um cap uh campo you got any more caps anybody uh anybody who you think should be on this list this year that didn't make it um i mean we could probably go through it for a while sorry go well i was gonna say this we we, i brought it up earlier and i I, when i was looking at my list i wanted to bring it up and everything Based on the point system of how this works, do they ever, ever give anything as far as like uh, more of a terroristic cosmetic, you know, like, no. you know what I'm saying? Like they don't. They usually, it's, it's mostly uh, in-ring ability as well. Okay. Because the thing is, it, 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 you guys were saying put Chris Jericho for this next, you know, this next year. But I mean, he was wrestling still back then and he's always had that uh, top tier. So even in that situation, when you look at this list, there's, I mean, looking at this, like even, you know, with um, you know, even though I like him and everything, and I put him pretty high on the list, like Big E, like Chris Jericho, I feel like deserved that spot more than him. You know, it's just yeah. it's not, even though it's better this year because of the whole, you know, the whole society and things getting really entangled and crazy. Mm-hmm. But there was still the, the the wizard stuff. Like I know that's not part of wrestling, but that brought yeah. But that wizard table. stuff didn't last very long though. Even though no, they did introduce right. him, they did introduce him as the wizard at Grand Slam when he won the ROH but that, championship. But but for me personally, that's the only thing I would say about this list because you got to think what drives in wrestling. I understand statistics. St- 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 statistics are mm-hmm. good but it also is still modeled off of a show that is scripted that has to put into that value so that's yeah. the only reason why i feel like that that's the one thing that's lost in it because well, I mean, you know you know I'm at, put least, out there. at least campo's happy that mox isn't on this list he, but he's, <laughs> he's probably gonna be next year oh i don't want yeah, to the, the quality he's had the title defenses but the quality of his feuds have been lacking can yeah. i can i have a, a moment to talk about jesus i mean john moxley um so John Moxley was number one in 2020. Yep. Uh, but it's like, so this is my whole thing. You know how I feel about him. We already know all this, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. 
his um his in ring like promo against MJF the day after the whole thing happened at uh whatever whatever the pay per view was all double about. or nothing double or nothing no it wasn't double or nothing yeah it was revolution what was the last pay per view that just happened all out all out yeah so when uh they, he had to come out and he talked it made me realize. I might not like his in-ring work or the character really, but he's such a company man and he's all about the wrestling. And I really appreciated that. His yeah, speech was his... like, so I'm not here to go behind the scenes and go out for myself and go know. into business for myself. Yeah, so his, um, after, after dynamite went off the air in uh, the one I went to in New York this past week, um, Moxley, I'll, I'll post it in my discord server. Um, Moxley had a really great po- promo. He goes, it's not me who defines the belt. It's the belt who defines me and the character that I become and the character that I, something along those lines. And it was really, it was a very sincere and it was one of Mox's better promos. We're talking like almost as good as like his early shield work when his promos were actually good. And I, I think now he's, they want him to play this like, oh, I'm an outlaw, badass character and this and that. And He's kind of like, yes, he has the freedom to say his own thing. He's unscripted, but he hasn't found that unscripted stride yet. If yeah. that's fair. Yeah. He, he, he's Which, very on brand. Like he stays with close to the material. Well, yeah. Well, he's probably most, the most dependable person on that roster. Yeah. And I understand yeah. that's why you would say, let's give I him mean, back the title. For Christ's sake, this guy gave up his vacation. To cover for CM Punk because CM Punk got hurt. Well, see, that's what I'm saying though. He has the potential, like the way he was doing stuff. It made me think of like the whole feel of like Stone Cold. Like it was like, AEW kind of trying to do their own thing in that way, and it didn't work for me. But I feel like if he did give us some time, he could, like you said, he could mold himself into something that would be his own character, but still have that edge to it. That was the, the Stone problem. Cold. Is he doesn't progress at all in his in ring work. Yeah, yeah, I it's the that. same. Like it's, even 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 the match um, on Wednesday, him and Danielson, it was Danielson for the most part of the match. And Danielson, okay, Danielson just had two back to back absolute bangers with Chris Jericho, like yeah. absolute bangers. Yeah. And then Chris Jericho went on to have an amazing match mm-hmm. against Claudio. The Chris Jericho at that age, I cannot believe what he's doing. Like I, we said it a few a few shows back that at this point we seriously need to consider Jericho in the top 10 of all time. Yeah, I would, I would honestly say so. I agree. It's, it's, you can make an argument it, for, for sure, especially because of longevity. Yeah. Five. I probably, agree. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Well, like I like, said, we, the guy's oh, never, he's, he rarely gets hurt. He's mm-hmm. always dependable. He's always there. Whenever they need him, he's always, no matter he's what. He's also company, one of the safest people to work with, apparently. So mm-hmm. but but that's why he never gets hurt. And it, it's very hard to have a charisma, even while the changing times, and be able to keep people's attention. And he pulls that off. Like it's funny how even now he he gauges your attention because it's like, what's he going to do? And he's very good at not making it stereotypical crazy. Does that make sense? Like I don't know how to explain how great he does it. It's so he weird. does these silly things, but it works. Like yeah. a few, like five, ten years ago, whatever it was when he did the list. The list was the stupidest thing ever, but it worked. No, that was hilarious. But that's what I mean. Like, people think of the list and they think it's dumb, but he made it work. The whole best friends showcase with him and Kevin Owens, I thought that was fantastic. It just, his his career started off, he was a very serious wrestler. In ECW and WCW, he was very serious. Then when he got to WWE, they were like, you can play around and do whatever the hell you want. And he just, but even even at the end, towards the end of WCW, you could see some of that, like, yeah charisma coming out like dean malenko i'm the man of a thousand holes and jericho armbar armbar a thousand and four holes right well for me the moment was y2j the whole situation where he started doing that that's when i feel like in in general he was starting to show it because he he, he was crazy but the thing is like he liked to the, i call it the, i guess chris jericho yell he likes yelling at people and it's a really enjoyable like like it, it, you don't get it doesn't get old it's not boring yeah. you know what i mean like it's him on announcing really, is awesome too i love him yeah he was yeah. really good on rampage he's always good time. on rampage um okay well i don't i don't have any more yeah, people i I'm, should yell i'm out. done uh, with the list too um i'm gonna show you guys our lists um the little surprise that i had for you guys is we arranged a top 10 list 
so you guys can see where we put everybody. So as you see, Campo's list here, he put Okada as number one, Reigns as number two, Page as number three, Rhodes, Gresham, Punk, Danielson, Lashley, Big E, and El Ijo. Ours are very similar with the exception of a few. Um, Okada, Page, Reigns, Punk, Rhodes, Lashley. I put Lashley up there because he's had some good feuds and now he's become one of the main players on Raw. Um, Danielson, Gresham, this was kind of hard. These three was kind of hard to like place in a spot. And then Big E and El Hijo in the bottom. Um, Putty put Okada as should be number one as well, but he put you put Big E because you really enjoy the character, right? Yeah, exactly. And that, that I didn't realize it doesn't count towards that, but I mean, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's a character, it's a wrestler I like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Rhodes and Punk, it's pretty very similar, except you put Reigns way at the bottom. I'm sorry, I'm getting sick of Reigns, and I mean, he's a good wrestler, but like, even the moves he does. Like, for some reason, now when I see him, I'm like, Kenny Omega's doing it better, bro. I'm just going to be honest. You know what I mean? That's how it feels around. It's not Rain's even so- in the same class. But you get what I'm saying. This is, like this is the Moxley one I want to see. Caps, you put CM Punk as your number two. Yeah, I, I was kind of like last second. <laughs> but um, if this thing is based on wins, then... Yeah, he, he did he, win he a lot in that time top. frame before and, he got hurt. And that's the biggest reason why Roman Reigns would be number one, because if this is actually based on wins, then he's yeah. number one. So here's – here. can I give you mine, just like a couple here? Yeah. So Okada is number one. Yeah, yeah he Okada won the G1. Okada won the G1. Without he won taking again, out- but we're not counting that one. He was the champion. He had an excellent feud with Jay White. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'm not a, the hugest. Jay fan White's not on the ring, list, but yeah, but Jay White didn't win till after June. I don't True. think. Well, I, well, here's the thing. I want to also bring up the Okada thing. The reason why I picked him actually, and why even if you brought it up to me, JD, is I didn't notice the name, but I went to look back at my list. Remember, I used it based off an old list. Mm-hmm. So when I went back to make the ten, Okada was high. He was actually on my original top five. I had Ken Omega, Chris Jericho, Warren, Low Edge, and then uh, Seth freaking Rollins and uh, him, Okada. So when you said made me go back into the list over, I'm like he was literally the only one that was on my list originally yeah. for the ones that were for last year. So yeah, he deserved it. But like yeah. in the last ten years, I just want to point this out: Okada has won a top five hundred. He's mm-hmm. been in second twice. He's been in third once. He's come in fifth three times, and then sixth in the last ten years. There's to me, there's no, it's a no doubter that he's the number one. Roman Reigns has been the title holder for like 10 billion years yep. and just keeps winning so i can't not have him in the top right but Adam then again Cage he does a great title run so he's got to be top three it's, but the thing with reigns though the reason why i put him below okada is his defenses haven't been that great it's either against brock lesnar or some jabroni that doesn't deserve it but it's he's still in just based on like what he's doing he's my number two yeah and then gresham carried a company a dead company around yeah. forever and had put on great matches Cody Rhodes is Cody Rhodes. My mm-hmm. thing is, so Bobby Lashley's down for me. And the reason I know you, Putty had him a bit higher and I, you have him a bit higher, but yeah. as, as terms of like the in-ring product, Danielson and Punk were both better. So yeah. I, I can't, and Lash, Lashley didn't really win anything big enough for me to be like, okay, you're better than these two guys. Big E is because of the injury. And El yeah. is the yeah, same thing. Yeah, they, they, they missed the whole year. Well, how can you be on the list? Yeah. But again, I was filling in last minute, and a, and a lot of these wrestlers wouldn't be. I did mine in two seconds, but yeah. I agree with you. I understand. The biggest one for me is is CM Punk at number two on, and Bobby Lashley on caps. But yeah. I mean, I don't get the Gresham hate. I just don't get it. Yeah. Like All I mean, that you, match he, that you. match he had against Claudio, which wasn't even one of his best, was still a good match. Yeah, and he defended the title so many times. Yeah. That four-way match, I though, at Rick Flair's and Ric Flair's, it was Gresham and uh, yeah, that was a great match. That was an insane that four-way match. That match was insane. That was probably one of Gresham's best showcasing. But yeah, uh, yeah if uh, that's it, guys, and you have nothing else to say, <laughs> we'll end it here. So thanks again, everyone, for joining us. Um, look for all their stuff in the description box below. If you see want to see all the photos from my trip to New York, AEW, go on to my Discord server. Link is in the description box below and give that a check out. And uh, we'll see you all uh, next time.